What's up guys, I'm George LaHoff and today I'm Maker's Best Friend. I'm going to show you how to make the top 5 DIY Halloween decorations from Pinterest. Check it out. So the first of these is pretty easy and can be as cheap as $24 if you already have some potter plants at home. So all you need are two large planters like this with some form of a plant, whatever you like for your house. Four Halloween buckets, I got square ones, circle ones work as well. Two garden stakes and then four of these smaller mums or any number that you like after you see this. So check it out. So I'm gonna take my planter, I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna take the garden stake with the thick part that I can support a lot of the weight. And we're gonna go ahead and stick it in here. And what I like about this one, this garden stake actually has notches on it. So check out how easy this is gonna be. And then I'm gonna take the orange Halloween buckets and I'm gonna put them one at this level other one at the top just like that and you can probably see where we're going with this take the planter the small one it could be mums or whatever you find take it out of here right in the bucket. just like that just try to straighten the weight So it took less than five minutes. That was easy. Let's go on to the next one. And this is gonna be the cheapest DIY Halloween decoration. We've just got two pineapples. They are $2 each from Costco. You can choose as many pineapples as you want. And we're just gonna use a knife for this one. Check it out. So I'm gonna take a cutting board. I'm gonna take the pineapple. And this is extremely similar if you've done uh, pumpkins before, but it puts a really cool twist on a uh, Halloween decoration. So we're just gonna cut off the top. Make sure you save that for later. And if you have like an apple core or something, it'll be a lot easier. I'm actually gonna take a thin, long knife for this part, and I'm actually gonna cut all along the inside without getting too close to the edge, because we're gonna need that. But we wanna eat all this delicious pineapple here. Okay, we're gonna get some Tupperware plate ready. Got a large Tupperware bin, so that once we start cutting it, straight down here. So now you're gonna kind of have those triangle pineapple slices. We're just gonna cut away. All right guys, that took about 10 minutes and I was able to carve out two pineapples. Uh, if you're better at carving, you'd probably get it done faster. So now, um, now that they're all carved and hollowed out, I put paper towels in them real quick just to kind of soak up and help them not to rot as fast. And now my wife and I are gonna take some carving tools and have a little competition to make the best carved pineapple. Here we go. All right, so this is my wife, Michelle, and that's Ruby, of course. And the first thing we're gonna do, <laughs> and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw faces onto the pineapple, which will make it easier to cut. You can go first. Okay. All right, now my turn to draw. And I'm gonna cheat a little by sketching off of a picture from the phone. And now we're just gonna carve the faces that we already sketched on it as Ruby sits in the background and just enjoys the show. All right guys, that took about 10 minutes to, for each of us to carve that out. And these are the final results. So you, you guys go ahead and comment below who you think won. This is mine, that's Michelle's, check it out. And the last part after we've carved it, we've got these dollar store tea candles that will light up and will drop right in. That way we don't have any fire, but still gives, still gives an awesome lighting effect within the pineapple. So this is gonna be an awesome part, probably inside of our house, maybe we'll put them outside towards Halloween, but another great addition for DIY Halloween decorations. All 
All right, let's go on to the next one. All right guys, this one we're gonna do from inside because it's raining outside. This one's a really quick and easy one. This should cost less than $10. All you need is a blank doormat that we're gonna lay down right here. And then some painter's tape or anything that you can use as a mask for your design. And we're also gonna use some black spray paint and a gloss protective enamel on top of it at the very end of it. So check it out. Now I've already cut out my design, make it a lot easier, and I'm gonna lay it on top of my blank doormat right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten it with some more painter's tape. All right, so now we're gonna take that black spray paint, and because the mask isn't too good, I'm pretty worried, but I'm gonna just do very light layers of the black spray paint, that way it won't have as much opportunity to spray underneath the mask here. I'm a little worried. Oh, that's better than I thought. And then we're gonna come with that protective enamel right on top. And then after we let that dry with the protective enamel, we will be done and we'll get to put this on the front of the house. Right, let's go on to the next one. This next product will cost just about $30 because all you need is a pallet of wood, which is free, a skeleton of your choice. I got this awesome one that has chains and this is what cost the most this one cost it about 25 bucks and this part is optional you can use some LED strips to add a red glow to this so for my first step I'm gonna take the pallet wood and I have a jigsaw here you could use any type of hand saw that you have I'm gonna cut right at the top a diagonal shape to make it look like it's been broken out of kind of like a jail Now we're gonna take our skeleton. This one's sick because it has chains already on it, so check it out. All right, before this one's finished, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take some LED strips and I'm gonna wrap it all around the inside and make it glow. All right guys, this is number five of five and by far the best one. The best one to be waiting for. It costs, it'll cost about a hundred bucks if you do it like I did, but it will be worth it. So what we have here are three 10 inch PVC pipes. I got them black. That'll save me from having to spray paint them. I've got an adult size Jack Skeleton costume from the Nightmare Before Christmas. You're gonna see what we're gonna do with this soon. Um, bought some black 3M tape and then a bunch of various PVC connectors. Uh, these are white, but I'm actually gonna use the duct tape to tape it. I'm not gonna glue it, that way we can take it apart later for a different holiday and store it in the attic before next Halloween. So I'm not gonna ramble off all of the dimensions of the cuts. I'm actually gonna put them on the screen here real quick. So you guys can just pause there and make the cuts yourself. But I am gonna just take a handsaw. Uh, if you have power tools, it'll be a lot faster if I'm doing this for you guys and we're just gonna measure out and start cutting these pipes down to different sizes. Now that everything is cut, it's time to start connecting all the limbs together. We're gonna to connect two four-foot pipes to two-foot pipes for the legs. 
For one leg, we'll use a 90 degree connection and the other is a 45 degree connection, which will make it look like it's leaning forward. And then a 22 and a half and a 45 degree connector on top, which will connect to the torso. For the torso, we take the 20 inch cuts, connect them to the two T connectors on top, and then tape the two pipes together, leaving some slack here since it will need to fit the connectors on the bottom. We also use one 10 inch pipe at the top where the head's gonna go. And now we can start dressing this up with a costume. The arms will be a six inch piece connected to a 45 degree joint, connected to a two foot piece, connected to another 45 degree joint, and finished with a two foot piece at the end, which will make them nice and long. All right, before we attach the legs and stand it all up, it's gonna be a lot easier at this point to make some fingers. You don't really have to do this, but it'll add a really cool effect. So you can simply just use some old wire hangers that you have. I have some pretty old, really thick copper wire that's gonna be perfect for this. Four creepy fingers. To help with stability, I'm using one of these free pout woods as a base of this and just taping a piece of scrap wood to jack and screwing it into the pallet. And then we finally get to see this thing stand up. And that's it. Thanks again for watching, guys. Peace.